heading down the Dorset coast to go diving. It's one of my all-time favourite foods. Scots. No speed cameras here, is there? Fuck them. I adore scallops, and I've served them on all my menus. But most of them are fished on a commercial scale, using dredging which can damage the seabed. The sustainable way to catch them is to go diving and pick them up by hand, which is what I'm going to do today. Hand dive scallops, especially, is something that is considered a bit of a jewel in the crown. Phenomenal. I'm off to meet Tom Whittle in Weymouth, who's been diving for scallops since he was 12. Have you got any shoes? Yeah, I've got some somewhere. Do you never wear them? <laughs> right, uh, temperature-wise, what's it going to be like down there? 14 degrees, if we're lucky. Yeah? Yeah. If we're lucky? Yeah. Serious? Cheers. And are they um, in abundance? It depends sort of where you go, but normally what you do is basically get down there, Mm -hmm. And if there's tons, then you just work them. Yeah. And if there's none, then you just swim like fuck until you find them. That's bad. Good. Yeah. Ready yeah, to get the dangly bits. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> We're heading out to the Black Hawk wreck, where we'll start our dive. Marine life congregates on wrecks, and nearby, there's an abundance of scallops. How big are they? Average size, probably about that here. Ready. Because like in um, London at the moment, uh, we're getting them from the south coast and the west coast, but uh, costing about three pound fifty, four pound each. Each, each. I'm gonna have to start commercial scallop here. <laughs> the reason that hand dive scallops are so expensive is that they are incredibly hard to catch, and a diver will only pick up a fraction of the haul of a commercial fisherman. Um, they're difficult to see, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they can be. I mean, especially uh, if they've buried themselves into the sand. But it's all about getting your eye into it. Yeah. Why is it like this? When you get to this stage, you're always bursting for a pee. It's, huh? it's the way that it huh? is. It's, it's the rule of the game. Unbelievable. I feel like that fucking condom again. <laughs> uh, what is it with these things? Visibility down here today is terrible, which makes spotting scallops that are nestled into the sand almost impossible. saves his scallops for supper, but I want to eat mine straight away. The fresher, the better. Right. Fantastic. They look amazing. I'm going to open them and clean them, yeah? So, a scallop tartare, yeah, basically a raw diced scallop mixed with lime, yeah? Chervil, and then a little bit of creme fraiche and mascarpone cheese, mm. yeah? Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Dive, open the scallop, and then eat. But look, I mean, they're still pulsating now. I feel them, it's still, it's extraordinary. Mix some creme fraiche with mascarpone cheese, lime zest, lime juice, some chervil, and salt and pepper. Right, dice the scallops in. And all we do now is just fold that in there. It's so exciting eating raw scallops. So I'm going to serve the scallop tartare inside the lettuce leaf. 
So just open up the heart of the baby gem lettuce. Quite a robust leaf, this, so it can take the scallop. Absolutely delicious. And there we are. A very simple scallop tartare. Fire away, buddy. Nice ah. one. Uh, Cheers. There you go. Now, so tasty. Ah. Ten times better to use hand dived and not dredged. And I'd rather pay double for hand dived, yeah, than cheap dredged scallops that taste of grit. Cheers. Cheers. Scallops away. I'll tell you, this is by far the best way to bag a decent catch. Ah. Oh, fuck me, he's a big one. Look at that beauty. Lovely.